This is what the North Korean economy looks like from the inside. A silk factory in the capital, Pyongyang. When North Korea declared its goal of developing nuclear weapons complete, its leader Kim Jong-un said that from now on, the focus would be single-mindedly on economic development. The message the regime wanted to send today, as they showed us around under the strict control of government minders, was one of innovation. This worker told us that the employees had completely modernized the factory recently. Her comrade also talked about improvements. She said she finds it very enjoyable and that she has to give thanks to the supreme leader. Despite the modernization, more traditional views abound. The manager here gave Kim Jong-un himself a tour of the factory. I asked about the effect of sanctions on his factory. He said that Western imperialists had been imposing them since 1945. But Koreans don't care because we have the spirit of self-reliance. Sanctions, we're not afraid. This was a propaganda exercise, but propaganda can be revealing. It shows us what story the North Korean regime wants to tell about itself. And that's important for understanding how it acts on the world stage. North Korea has always been masterful at garnering attention. It's how what is quite a small country has been at the forefront of international politics for such a long time. And you see that by military provocation, by nuclear tests, by missile launches. But now it's got the world's attention, it wants to tell a different story. It wants to talk about economy, factories like this, innovation, to try and shift the narrative to say its future might be very different from its past. North Korea is right now at a critical moment as it seeks to find its way through an apparent stalemate with the US over denuclearization via a flurry of diplomatic activity over the last week. The nursery teachers being trained at this college are singing from the same innovation hymn sheet. They were keen to show off various gizmos. Buzzwords like virtual reality, holograms and artificial intelligence are just as beguiling here as they are in the West. For all the talk of economic reform, it is an old-fashioned Leninist dictatorship that rules here. That paradox is at the heart of North Korea. It will be on show at an expected military parade here on Sunday. And in the difficult line, it continues to walk. Between proud isolation and international engagement, between showing off its military might and avoiding diplomatic provocation, between political repression and economic openness. Tom Cheshire, Sky News in Pyongyang, North Korea.